everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome to all my new subscribers today's video is just a little bit different let me just tell you what's coming up this week so today as you can tell by the title I will be talking about um, plus size pattern companies that work for me and there are two specific companies that I tend to gravitate to and so as you can see one today will be cashmere that I'll be talking about and then tomorrow will be the Rebecca page patterns um, and so yeah I wanted to come in and share this I thought this week was actually going to be the ready to wear plus size fashions and pattern picks and then my mood board with the pattern picks but I thought it made more sense to come in first with the plus size patterns um, that I typically gravitate to, the two particular companies um, that I tend to gravitate gravitate to. So when I do talk about um, in those videos where I'm um, talking about the ready to wear plus size fashions and then talking about patterns and maybe pattern hacks or Franken patterns that I'll be doing, you'll know um, why I've chosen um, these particular patterns and those will include other patterns as well it won't all be cashmere and Rebecca page however a majority of them probably will fall into one of these two categories so I wanted to come in today and get going on um, cashmere so I wanted to come in and talk about cashmere because I tend to sew a lot of cashmere patterns and um, you all know if you've watched my video I've gone through the fit clinic I've gone um, through where I worked one-on-one -on -one with Jenny on fit and different things of that nature and so um, I wanted to come in and just talk a little bit about um, cashmere this is not a sponsored video I have no affiliate links whatsoever anything I genuinely really love cashmere patterns um, and some of the reasons are it truly is a pattern company that uh, focuses exclusively on plus size and curvy and um, and, and that's why I say plus size and curvy. You all have heard me say this many, many, many times. Just because you are plus size does not make you curvy. And just because, because you have curves does not make you plus size. And so what I believe that cashmere patterns have um, pretty much, in my personal opinion, again, there are other pattern companies and different things like that. But in my personal opinion, from my sewing experience, um, I feel that Cashmere actually has cornered the market and really found her niche and she does it very well. Um, and as her, her her website, and I'll leave a link down below, um, as it says, and I'll just read it quickly, Cashmere Patterns creates beautiful, easy to follow sewing patterns exclusively for sizes 12 to 28 with select styles up to size 32 and cup sizes from C to H. Um, every detail cut and shape is designed to celebrate your body with a fantastic fit that was made for you and inspired by you. And so um, for me, and again, this, this entire video is all my opinion. And so take... Um, Take what you will from it, but I hope for those who either sew for um, plus size individuals or you are plus size yourself and you sew that this video, these next two videos, today and tomorrow's video, help you um, and maybe some of your pattern selection process and different things that you might need to or want to consider when sewing up um, patterns from these pattern companies. So one of the easiest things that I have done... <laughs> is I created an entire playlist of cashmere patterns that I have sewn um, because there are not enough I cards for me to pop up here and um, put everything linked in the description box so what I will do is put in the I card the playlist and if you cannot find the I card I will put it in the description box just click on the description box you will see my cashmere um, pattern patterns that I have sewn playlist and if you want to dive into any of the ones that um, I have made feel free to go watch any of those videos and so um, one of the things that I want to go over first are the patterns that I have personally made um, and then there are believe it or not because I pretty much have every except the, to the exception of five patterns I have all of cashmere patterns and I will go over that here um, momentarily. Um, but 
there are there are a few that I have not uh, purchased uh, for different reasons and I'll go over that um, I will say for cashmere because I have gone through the cashmere fit clinic and I will leave that up in the um, description box um, and up in the i cards a link to the my fit clinic experience which was working one-on-one -on -one with Jenny Rushmore from cashmere patterns um, I've learned that in her pattern sizes that there are certain adjustments that I do need to make and that are pretty typical for me um, for her um, patterns. Now most of these will be probably for the woven, um, not so much the knit, but I can um, still make these certain adjustments depending on the knit pattern that I am making. So let me start out with some of the typical adjustments that I have to make. And then when I share with you the um, patterns that I've made up, I'll share with you how, what adjustments I made for each one. And I'll pop up pictures. Now, if I don't have the pictures, I'll probably have to snap, snatch them right off my own Instagram. But I'll, <laughs> I will pop up the pictures of the ones that I have made. Uh, so my typical adjustments that I make are a sloping shoulder adjustment, a gaping neckline adjustment, a sway back adjustment, Adjustment, lengthening the bodice and um, narrow a narrow shoulder adjustment now to this day I have made videos to show you how to do each and every one of these adjustments um, and so what I will do is share those as I go through them and I'll also link um, below those videos or link them up in the i card so you will be able to find where i've made um, some of those adjustments now let's get into the patterns that i have made i have made quite a few of cashmere patterns and i have made them more than once and this is a reason another reason i want to do this video because um i've received a lot of either emails or comments about um you make a lot of cashmere red oh you've uh that cashmere patterns really work for you you know that type of thing and this is the reason why mainly because um, I have learned in my sewing journey um, what how what it means to for a pattern to fit and um, adjustments I need to make early on in my sewing journey I used to sew patterns kind of going off measurements and when I did go off measurements I'm wondering why it just didn't fit right and I'm thinking oh either my sewing is just not good or I, just, I don't get it I don't understand and all of this and most of it was I just didn't get it I just didn't understand I didn't know that I needed to make just because the, it may have semi fit there might have been some adjustments I need to make wondering why it's gaping here gaping back here why does it feel like my um sleep my shoulder seems all the way down here but my shoulder um is up here and sometimes um some of these things I've learned across my journey that I didn't know I needed to fix um especially stuff like with the forward shoulder adjustment or a sloping shoulder adjustment um not until i went through the fit clinic did i even did i even know that that was an adjustment i needed to make because it was not anything that i paid attention to when i finished garments i just knew oh i finished a garment not even certain things i just never focused on i would the main things i would i would focus on is how it fit across my chest and across my stomach because those are some of the um areas on my body that i focused on and then I, I would just figure I'd sew something wrong if it was gaping in the back or something like that. Um, but it was through time um, that through my journey that I learned, oh no, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Like I said, some of it was just me being a novice and I just didn't know any better until somebody told me, oh, I think you need to do a, um, uh, uh, Put, put a dart here, move your dart up, move your dart down. Um, oh, you have sloping, not that you have sloping shoulders, but you need to do a sloping shoulder adjustment. Because the thing to keep in mind is that just because you have to do certain adjustments don't mean something's wrong with you or your body. It just means that that pattern that's drafted is not drafted for you specifically. It's drafted to fit masses um, and then people will have to make adjustments off of that pattern, off the way it was drafted in order to fit them. So um, 
in, in, in most worlds, if and if you all follow me, you know I was going down the creating um, different looks based off of my block. Um, I've kind of moved away from that because of my weight loss journey. I'm just finding it a little easier and a little faster for me just to make the necessary adjustments on patterns I already have in my stash. I will get back to the whole drafting and all that down the road, but right now this is my focus. And so again, just because you have to make different fit adjustments and different things of that nature, it does not mean anything is wrong with you or your body. It's just that that pattern company had uh, created a drafted a block that can fit masses and then you just make your adjustments off of that for your body type. So just wanted to make sure I cleared that part up. And so what I have found with um, during my journey, I have found that um, is sometimes it's not all about, oh, your measurements are this, go up to a different size in order for it to fit. You can go with the um, adjustments based on what's on the pattern envelope and also looking at the finished garment measurements so you know how much ease is in there and what's comfortable for you. You can also do um, muslins. Muslins are really good. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. But muslins are really good for determining fit for a particular type of garment. Now, typically for knits, I don't do muslins. Uh, for woven items, I do try in my journey to do muslins. When I first started back to sewing um, a few years ago, I didn't do muslins. I was like, no, no, no muslins. And so, um, yeah, that is something <laughs> I have learned to do. And I've also began tracing patterns. So that is something else that I want to mention coming up. Make sure that you are subscribed um, because I will be sharing how and when I order my PDF patterns from pdfplotting.com. And then my next video will after that will be coming up on um, Wednesday will be how I trace my patterns. And the different methods that I use to trace patterns. Okay, so back to um, the different patterns that I have made from Cashmere. Now again, I have made quite a few. I will only pop up a picture <laughs> of something I've made because um, yeah, I will have pictures all over the screen because I have made quite a few uh, Cashmere patterns. So I have made the Concord t-shirt, um, which is probably one of the patterns I would highly suggest if you're a beginner sewer um, or you want to try something in plus size that is knit, um, that this is one that you should try. And for those who don't know, I have a sew along for this pattern right here on my channel, which I will link up in the iCard and down below. So if you are interested in um, sewing up this pattern, there is a sew along for it here on my channel. I have also made the fuller cardigan um, and I actually recently made the fuller cardi cardigan to go with my Upton dress which is something another pattern I've made from Cashmere the Upton dress and it, it was my Easter outfit so it was the dress and the cardigan I'll pop up that picture as well but for those who are interested in making something a little bit more intricate um, I do have a sew along for the Upton as well here on my channel I will link that up above and put the link for it down below if you are interested in sewing up the Upton and so what I will say for the Upton that is the garment that I went through the cashmere fit clinic for um, which really revealed and opened my eyes to um, different fit uh, situations that I need to um, take control of um, and be mindful of when I'm sewing up not just cashmere patterns but other patterns as well and so yeah that was a true eye opener I made I think six to seven um, Uptons um, across my sewing journey and I will say over time the construction has gotten better and better as with anything um, the more you do it the better you'll get at it until you perfect a technique and a process that works for you. Um, I have also made the Upton with the expansion sleeves. I It's in a denim version. I did with cap sleeves. There is an expansion pack, um, which is free, but you do need to already have purchased the Upton dress um, pattern in order to um, use the that sleeve expansion for the Upton. Um, I have also made the Dartmouth top. Um, I have made the top 
which my first hand at it was not good. It was way too big. Um, but then I made the dress, which I just featured in a, a recent video of my uh, wardrobe staple basics. I, it's a black dress. I just lengthened the, it was a hack that um, I cannot remember her name. I see her face clear as day, but she did a hack of the Dartmouth into a dress on her blog um, quite a few years ago because um, I've had that dress for a couple years now and um, how to lengthen it. So I did that. If I can find that blog post, I will link it down below. Um, yeah, I cannot think, but I will link it down below if I can find it. Um, I have also made the Turner dress. This is also what I would highly recommend if you want to do a dress is do the Turner dress. It's a fully lined bodice um, and then you have the skirt bottom. Very simple and easy construction. This is one that... Um, I made it, but I needed an adjustment on it and I didn't make it at the time. And this one, I need to lengthen the bodice just slightly um, for that particular one. And good news, the Turner will be in a sew along for the month of June. So make sure again, subscribe so you can follow along for that. But that is real, it's so easy. That one is a really easy dress, knit dress um, that you can um, make very, very easy. I have also made the Appleton wrap dress. I have made at least three or four and um, love, 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 love the Appleton wrap dress. I love how the neckline shapes around um, the neck area, around the shoulders. It's a really good fit. Um, I tend to, for most of cashmere patterns, um, now that I've gone through the fit clinic, I stay within the cup size between G and H. And so this is a, another thing um, I want to highlight about cashmere patterns because her focus is on that size 12 to 28 and cup C, size C through H. Um, for me, what I have found is that she has nailed it. Her and her team has nailed the drafting for curvy plus size. You have a lot of tissue. The um, different cups, you can tell on the pattern the shaping changes based on the cup size, which is what I think Cashmere has simply nailed and is an expert at. Um, that her drafting takes in consideration curves of the body if you're plus size you have extra tissue in your body <laughs> her patterns really take all of that into consideration so she doesn't start at it extra extra small and then go all the way up to um you know larger sizes which there's nothing wrong with that but what i have found with her patterns in in particular is that her expertise and focus is on a particular range and she her pattern company knows what they're doing in that particular range because i have a lot of tissue a lot of breast tissue and tummy and i find that it's just easier for me to pull out a cashmere pattern and um and make something maybe a muslin if i need to and tweak it and adjust it as needed and so another pattern that i have made was the ames jeans love and i keep saying i'm gonna make some more um, but i do love the ames jeans that was probably at the time um that was one of my most Ooh, I'm scared to make jeans, 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 jeans. Now, here's the thing. Um, Cashmere does have a class on her website for it. I did not do the class. I just uh, took my time. I think I sewed this across three to four weeks because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. I had already had all these preconceived notions about sewing jeans. And so not to continue to stress myself out, I said, I'm just going to take one, one bite at a time, one bite at a time. And so what I felt were muslin turned out to be very wearable and I wear those things to that. Um, and so and I haven't worn them that much as of late since we've been, um, in the, uh, kind of quarantine situation but every uh jean friday pretty much i will pull out those jeans and so yeah that is that is a really good jean pattern i have made the lennox shirt dress um and the lennox shirt dress also has an expansion pack but um again love 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 it was a um i'll leave the link to that video uh, to the playlist i'll just leave a link to the entire playlist uh down below but love 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 the shirt dress that was pretty easy to put together i've also made the chilton 
trench now this was something i made this the month after i made my jeans and those were two heavy duty projects for me <laughs> from cashmere head um because the chilton trench as you all know if you saw that video y'all know that that's a pattern with a gang of pattern pieces but again i took my time i forget how long i, I may have said it in the video how long it took me to to put it together i took my time totally took my time it turned out fantastic and I, every time i wear that that coat i always get compliments on it and then i always get oh is purple your favorite color <laughs> every time i wear that somebody asks me oh is purple your favorite color because it looks good on you <laughs> and i'm like yeah <laughs> but absolutely love 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 the chilton trench i have also made the ipswich swimsuit so you all know you saw my video on that that was a beast of a pattern and it was not perfect by the time i was finished but i did push through um push through it and um and make it and have worn it um actually i wore it Quite a bit for my um you all know at the time i had made it i was in a um aqua fit class um at my gym and so obviously hasn't been much of that as of late but <laughs> can't go to the gym um but um yeah um that that has worked for me now that's a tough one i don't know if i'll revisit that i may if it because it, it's a lot of pieces and i really need to work on some of the areas a little bit better and the next time i probably won't do the skirt that goes over the top but um it's still cute and i wear it i wear it it's in my swimsuit stash um and so um then i've also made the springfield top um very uh simple easy breezy top i have made that now that's the one that i have made the gaping neckline adjustment and also sloping shoulder adjustment again i show i walk through that whole process in that video so i will leave that's a fit video so i'll make sure i leave the link to that video as well um now there are also several patterns of cashmere that i have purchased that i have not made yet but you may see me mention these patterns when i'm going through my uh ready to wear plus size fashions and when i'm matching up patterns these are just a few of the uh patterns that um I also own, um, but have not made up yet. I have the Alcott dress. I have the Harrison shirt and Harrison shirt dress pattern. I have the Ellis skirt. I have the Pembroke dress and tunic. Now that Pembroke, the Pembroke dress, I will say, is something I saw. It's not on my mood board, and it may not have been from Eloquy, but I saw it. it might be something else I pinned on Pinterest, and I was like, I saw the look, and I was like, oh cashmere patterns has the pit board um and so but anyway that was one that i had saw um the rivermont which i really do want to make because that one also has a peplum top and i think i have some fabric that will work great for that but that's something i will make more towards the fall not necessarily anything that i will put in my queue at the moment and then the washington dress which i absolutely love because that is a combination of knit and woven um it's a combination of the knit is on top and the woven is on the bottom and then it has this panel in in between which i thought was really cute so it'd be nice to um do a combo of a couple different types of um materials and so um yeah if i don't have the tobin um just because i don't know that i would get a lot of wear of that down here in texas our winters are not terribly long um although i could play around with maybe finding a lighter weight knit to wear down here so that's why i haven't purchased that i have not purchased the spruce tank or the belmont leggings um i do have a leggings pattern from Sim simplicity um that goes um that has plus size range so i don't necessarily need that um but the spruce tank i was thinking and I have a video coming up in June, but I was thinking about doing that, getting that one. I was thinking about it. Um, the Webster, I do not own the Webster, um, the Cedar Dolman, um, the, or the Montrose. Those, eh, 
I'm just not necessarily feeling. Um, but as you can tell, I'm pretty much feeling 90% of all her patterns. And the other thing I can say about Cashmere Red, she's not, that pattern company is not one that drop a new pattern every few weeks. Every couple weeks she has a new pattern um, dropping, um, which I can appreciate. That just lets me know that, and not to say that those pattern companies, let me just disclaim just because a pattern, drop a new pattern every month doesn't mean that they haven't taken time in the, um, in the development stages to uh, test it and do all these other different types of things. But what I notice about Cashmere Patterns is that um, she really takes her time through the testing phases, um, through using different body shapes and different stuff like that to really um, bring a high quality product to the market um, because she is, you know, focusing on a very specific um, market niche, which again, I happen to believe that um, she has cornered, truly has cornered the market. Um, and so again, that is it. That's all I have for today on Cashmere Patterns. So everyone that has asked me questions about uh, Cashmere Patterns, why do you like them? Um, how did you get good fit on them? Um, what is it about Cashmere Patterns that you like? Da 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 da. Um, that's this video and now I can just refer people to this video <laughs> every time that um, I get asked that question so yeah that is it for today if you have any questions or you think um, I need to cover something else with Cadmoret do let me know in the comment section down below again coming up in June will be the Turner dress sew along and so um, yeah that's all I have today. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I will be sharing my experiences with Rebecca Page Patterns. Thank you everybody for tuning in and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.